Wondering how the Moto X is doing a few seasons after its launch? We already covered that in an After the Buzz from a few months ago. Wondering about its durability specifically? We covered that too in a durability report a few weeks back. Wondering about the wooden version in particular? There, we've got you covered. I'm Michael Fisher with Pocket Now, and this is our durability report on the wooden Moto X. The Ebony Moto X became available alongside the other wood grain options at the end of January, and since the arrival of my personal unit on January 30, I've been using the device almost non-stop alongside my other daily driver, the Lumia 1020. In that time, I've carried it completely naked, as is my normal custom, and the phone has had a few run-ins with gravity, in particular with the hardwood floors of my home and office. But even before all that, I noticed something peculiar about the Ebony Moto X's finish right out of the box. The device had an interesting mottled layer sitting atop the wood grain, which I took to be a water-resistant sealant. It's this finish that highlights moisture when the device is wet, and when you're handling it with sweaty or greasy hands, it really shows up. But it's not as bad as a glass-backed device. And because the material has the look and feel of wood, you might not mind giving it a little character through moisture. Not that you'd want to spray it with furniture cleaner or floor wax, but a little water from the shore or the shower hasn't hurt mine at all. The back panel does show the occasional minor imperfection, but again, those were there out of the box and are not a result of my clumsy fingers. Really, the ebony surface holds up better than the plastic, even though it's smoother to the touch. And the wood grain does a good job of minimizing scratches that do sneak in. Our friend Austin Evans confirmed similar durability on his teak unit as well. Sadly, that's not a totally clean bill of health, just because I haven't dropped this one on concrete like I did our blue Moto X review unit doesn't mean it would bear up any better than that device. The frame of the Ebony Moto X is just as plastic as it is on the rest of the line, and its glass is just as susceptible to minor scratches. But the Ebony Moto X's similarity to its cousins works for it, too. It's fairly rugged, it's well-sized, so you're less likely to drop it, and the new custom decals don't look to be going anywhere, no matter how many pockets your phone is slid into and out of. Best of all, it comes from a company whose name has for years been synonymous with solid hardware. The wooden Moto X may still have a shallower dimple than its rubberized companions, a bigger deal than it sounds like to we Moto X owners. But in terms of durability, it's sure not sacrificing much, and you should feel pretty okay about carrying one of these without a case. If you want to know more about how the Moto X has aged in a holistic sense since it's launched, check out the description down below. There's a link to our full After the Buzz episode where you get a whole lot more detail about this special device. Also down there, a like button. Please click it if you enjoyed this durability report. And a comment section down below that. Leave your comment. If you have a wooden Moto X, let us know how yours has held up over time. And be sure to follow us on social media so that you can tweet at us, post on our Facebook wall, and share Instagram photos of your Moto X or anything else you want to share with us. Until next time, once again, this has been Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.